All right, you guys. Today I want to talk about uh, my shower. Uh, on from the previous build, the three, four vents already. I'm using the same uh, uh, method. My shower. I make it very simple. It's just the uh, plywood walls and the uh, vinyl. Okay, this is the thick kind of the vinyl. I think it's a five sixteen. Uh, this one has a, a real tile pattern. It's a 12 by 24 inch tile pattern. Uh, these are 100% waterproof. Looks great after you shower, wipe it off, it dries out right away. Um, we have been using the, these kind of showers for forever. There, there's no problem. Okay, my uh, the shower base for this one uh, this is the 32 by 24 and uh, uh, it's very durable I build the uh, 3 inch um, platform here to support the bottom okay and it's, it came with a pre-drill hole which is um, perfect for this kind this uh what is this the um two by seven eight flange um strainer okay it fits perfectly with this hole okay check that out okay. so it's and it's kind of slanted right here for the water um flow so this one fits flat in here and it's gonna be uh, re really good for the, the water flow okay and the flange right here it has an, um, a one inch round flange which these vinyls gonna be sitting inside so there's no way of uh, water leak it's fit really tight okay that's gonna be my shower um, that's my uh, cold water coming out from the pump going through inside the wall and it's gonna go uh, through the floor here to share with the sink and our hot water um, tank is gonna be on the outside on the, the side wall so that's it's gonna be a shower looking good already
So the shower, when it's not being used, you can utilize that space. You can put a re removable clothes hanger here, a bar right here, uh, where you can hang your your coat or you know when you're out there, uh, wet clothes, jackets, and uh, uh, towel, whatnot, and yep, whatever you want to hang in here. You even can put your luggage in here. But um, this is only shower. We opt out the uh, toilet, so it's going to be just a portable toilet and that way we don't have to deal with all the cleaning, you know how it goes. Um, yeah, this is all we need. Hot shower when you're out there, long day after, you know, activities at camping and stuff. Uh, you need a nice warm shower, instant hot water, cold shower, whatever. Um, also, we don't want it too big because um, you want to uh, maintain the, the, the aisle. I still have 24 inches of, of walkway out even after the bed is all set up. Um, so, the shower, I before I, I had used a, a 3 quarter inch um, plywood for the walls, uh, but I found out it's not really necessary because um, this is strong enough already. Okay, it's uh, it's plus it's lighter now. Okay, you just uh, just need a, a uh, waterproof um, light in here. All the other ones I have the uh, waterproof, uh, which is the outdoor uh, light, but the with the um, built-in on-off switch. Uh, this one I'm going to build a switch right on the outside next to the um, water pump switch. Okay, that's all we need. Let's let's take a look at uh, the water heater. Okay, hot water heater. I'm using Excel brand on this one, just like mine over there. Now we have three cars using this uh, Excel brand. Uh, it it is dependable. I have I have it for four, five years already. Every time you turn on the water, it 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 kicks on and it, it heats up the water instantly. Super hot sometimes. Uh, I had to uh, mix with cold water to take a shower. Um, it takes only two psi to uh, to uh, kick on uh, uh, to heat up. Uh, some other brand it takes uh, four or six psi. Uh, uh, very safe. Th uh, this is uh, tankless. There's no uh, reservoir. Uh, you don't have to preheat anything bef um, before. Uh, I could have gone uh, with electric. Um, you know, this van has four uh, lithium. Uh, no, four ag. No. Or lithium batteries. I could have gone with the uh, uh, electric water heater, uh, but since uh, there are five people, uh, this uh, family, that is not going to support. Somebody's going to, uh, you know, wait for the um, water to heat up before take a shower, and uh, I have other friends who are using. Uh, the electric water heater and it drains out the battery uh, super fast because it you know it keeps on running to warm up the water and that thing is using like 1400 watts of power um, really safe uh, this is yeah again tankless you there's no flu required to run it and um, just make sure it has a good ventilation. It, it has the low oxygen built in. It's oxygen depletion technology. It detects even it, it the oxygen is low. It's not enough uh, ventilation around. It will not work. Um, they use it in the RV van lives. They install it in the uh, you know inside uh, big RVs, trailers, toy haulers, stuff like that. Um, but anyways, I haven't done any maintenance to it. Um, 
but they recommend it to you know when you uh, it's winter time you don't use it just drain the water make sure there's no water uh, sitting in the system um, that long um, endless uh, of hot water you can take showers we have we had a big group uh, went camping with us and we used we just keep on refilling the water tank and you can get hot water uh, infinite hot water so it was yeah it was nice um, I'm using half inch uh, shaft shaft bike uh, pex pipe uh, throughout the, uh, the water the pipe system um, that was a very uh, also very uh, durable 25 years warranty stuff like that um, also uh, uh, stainless steel braided uh, hoses that run from from here to uh, to the uh, uh, faucet inside put it out here so it, it's easy to um, um, if we have to maintain a disconnect or whatever uh, so out here it's gonna be enclosed uh, part of it and then on this part uh, it's gonna be the fresh water inlet and uh, the water tank gate and uh, uh, external um, external uh, water uh, hose and that's gonna be for uh, anytime you need to use it on the outside just wash up stuff all right uh, that's it about the shower I, I hope it gives you this gives you uh, very good information and how to build a simple uh, shower for your van have any questions just uh, drop in your you know questions below I'll try to answer that for you uh, besides that let's uh, let's finish up this van and have a great day no you know what guys when you build these things there are good days there are bad days and today is one of those not good day this is what happened I finished the enclosure right well almost my last two screws check this out it came out this way oh now I have to take everything out and cut all the wood again. Spend my last three hours. I want it perfect. This is what happens when you want too perfect. That is sucks. That is sucks. That you cannot fix it. And I had my this thing already installed nicely. Okay, I'm done for today. All gone.